We're back. All right. So this is part two to the. Excuse me. How fucking rude of me. Anyways, so this is part two of the installment of the other one. So just figure it out. I'll put a title below or something. Anyways, so jump right into it. So when I'm there with this dude at the bar, and I don't even know this dude. And he's talking about, uh, oh, fuck my life, fuck my life. And uh, one more time, if I have to talk to that manager, fuck my life. And from this point, I come in as my French persona. And I was like, ha, oh, ha, oh, oh, American. What do you know about wine? And that is probably not really that accurate as far as French accents go. I really hyping it up like a Pepe Le Pew kind of fucking thing. But this guy... He bought it. Fucking sink, line, and hook. Bought that shit. He was like, You think you, um, you French people are pretty fucking suave, don't you? Um, something is definitely wrong with, uh, your country. I don't like your, uh, French toast, French women, French wine. And I was like, ah, how do you say this then? First off, the French toast? I do not care. I don't even like toast. Fuck you. I eat crepes. <laughs> So, um, and by the way, what you have done to the French craft, you have destroyed it. What you Americans have done, we give you the responsibility of making the crate the way it was supposed to be. You kill it. You destroyed the crate. So then from there, he's like, well, we like it better with a little bit more sugar, uh, uh, powdered sugar on it. Haha, <laughs> of course, this is why you're so fucking fat. What do you think? So we go on exchanging, you know, like how his day is, and I make up that I'm a dishwasher somewhere on the strip, and I listen to that fat fucking cow all day as she bickers into my ear, and I have to listen as I scrubby scrubby on the wash of the zizis, and I do not care, it sounds a bunch of zizis, and I just keep going because I'm fucking drunk, and, and you hear a bunch of zizis, like that kind of shit, and the guy buys it, and he's like, oh, you're fucking, so he's like, how long have uh, you been in America? For 10 fucking years. He's like, oh, you still got a fucking accent. Well, you still have ignorance, don't you? But I do not hold it against you, sir. Just know that my people have nothing against your people as long as you don't fuck with Von Fan. And he's like, what's that? Come see. Listen to what I have to say. Come closer. <laughs> that would not bad. Come closer. Come closer. Don't fuck with the wine and cheese, motherfucker! And then he gets a big laugh out of it. He's like, oh, I fucking love wine. And then we start talking about wine. And this goes on for like an hour. So anyways, I challenge his um, Northern California wine, by the way, I think is awesome. Uh, that's honestly all I really drink. For one, it's hell of affordable uh, California wines. Love them. Um, and Washington wines, Washington State for those who don't know. Love their wines. Um, actually, I'm a big wine con uh, connoisseur kind of guy. So I kind of like wine no matter where it comes from. Uh, even that cheap ass $3 screw top. I'm not a purist, don't judge me. If it tastes slightly good with the meal you're having, bon appetit, asshole. So here we go. So, by the way, this is Canadian whiskey. And it is smooth, but the hangover is harsh as hell and it's uh the real <laughs> low shelf shit so i think you buy like for 14 bucks you get like two gallons of this well, i don't know so anyways so i'm here all the week doing my thing so we started talking about wine um try to talk about the politics religion somehow comes into play um, I pose as a Catholic. Sorry for those that are Catholic. Sorry. I don't say anything bad. I just pose as a Catholic. So. Um. Hey, my father's Catholic. Leave me alone. So, I can get away with it. And his mama was Catholic. And his dad was Catholic. And so forth and so forth. So. Anyways. Squeezy. I do not care. So, anywho. So, the guy happened to be Catholic, if you're curious. Um, so, definitely hit it off. Um, but after we started talking about wine and all the rest of it, I noticed something. 
I was actually on to something. By talking to strangers, this dude, which I don't remember his name, and I met him twice, um, and each time he doesn't remember who the hell I am because I changed my hair, my facial hair, one time with glasses, one time without glasses, that kind of thing. Um, I was drunk one time and I left my glasses somewhere. Long story. Anyways, um, but you'd be surprised the kind of people that you find in public and you get to have these awesome stories. I know this is supposed to be kind of a comedy skit, which I was slightly doing, um, or probably downright offenseful to many people on many levels, but, um, it's squeezy. So, I just want to let you know that, seriously, that after this dude bought me, let me think, Sauvignon Blanc, um, two Napa cabs, uh, what else kind of wine? Oh, the one I don't care for, Pinot Grigio, is it Pinot Grigio? Grigio, Grigio, whatever. Comment below if you know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways, um, but nonetheless, after like three or four glasses of wine, and that night I was drinking beer, so beer and wine, that don't mix. And uh, I don't remember that old saying with something with grapes and something with barley don't mix, or I, I don't remember that old saying. Maybe you do. And there's another saying, something about uh, something like with hard liquor to beer, something like liquor before beer, you're in the clear, and beer before liquor, never sicker. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I said that right. I don't remember. I heard it like one time a geezer said it. He just said it out loud because he saw me. I was doing uh, shots of Patron and I was also chugging beer. And then he said that following. I don't remember what order it was. I wasn't listening. Kind of incoherent. <laughs> and uh, he was just like, bam, 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 before liquor. I said something in there in the clay. And I'm like, what? What the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> Sorry. When, when I drink, I, I'm... I'm absent fucking minded so that led to this two part video the first one's longer than the other one this one went on long enough do a victory lap we're done peace I hope you enjoyed this very short two part thingy um, after I refill my glass I'm going to probably start another video here so stay tuned tune in subscribe I have more shit um, yeah. Peace.